Tim here, welcome back to LSJ TV. To start off today's video, we have a few items in the mail from my friends at MyProtein. Now as you know, I love the MyProtein oversized kind of range, like this, you know? MyProtein rest day, whatever you want to call it. They've got these nice, this nice like NP on the sleeves, it's, it's just sick. We've got a few different bits and another package to open today. But I figured you guys see enough hauls, you guys see enough stuff. It's the same old, same old thing on other channels, of course. I'm not talking about here. Here is the most interesting, fun, creative and innovative content you have ever seen. Drop a video like if you agree, which you all will and already have. So I figured what we do today is something a bit different. I want to get moving. I want to get dancing. And I want to try these clothes on in a way that you have never seen before. Okay? <laughs> Let's go. birthday, 20th birthday, 16th birthday, my protein birthday stuff. This is kind of like spotlights, it's like spots and specs rather than stuff. I don't know what these shorts are, but they're freaking sick. And my favorite top out of the lot is the one that's the same color. This is the MP uh, washed, well, hang on, where's the name? MP men's washed embroidered logo t-shirt in sky blue. And it just has the very simple MP badge right in the middle there. And that's the lot. That is, I, I just love kind of tie-dye, like, you know, washed, kind of faded stuff. Um, I freaking love that. And uh, they match the shorts and everything is, is just, it's, my protein has seriously, seriously upped their clothing game. And this has put me in a right good mood, which is good because I've been having a crappy day until now. I've been feeling like not too great, I've been not feeling too good today. I feel like, all the food, I'm just gonna be real, all the food, all of the cake, all of the chocolate bars, all of the, well, just chocolate in general, just lots of bad food has kind of built up, I think, and uh, caught up with me because it's been my birthday, it's been the old man's birthday, obviously Charlotte came over not too long ago, um, and we've had lots of drinks, lots of food, it's just been a, a bit of a, a bit of a feast, you know? feel like that's kind of caught up with me now, and, and actually, I've had a bit of a headache and almost just, just a bit like run down today, but this is uh, this has perked me up. That's for sure. Headache's gone. Feeling good. Feeling, feeling alive. But I'm excited to get back on track with the diet, and I have a few things in mind over the next few days, which will make sure that I stay on track. And it could help you guys too. You never know. So stay tuned for that. I'm very, 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 very excited to share. It's about six years in the making, so just a little bit excited. Okay. Just. A it. We have burned 494 calories so far today, even though we haven't done too much. My current heart rate, I've been running around testing all these bloody clothes out. I'm on 102 BPM. I am exercising up in here. So, if you are excited for today's video, people, please do me a massive favor. Cost you nothing. Takes two seconds. Drop the video a like. Comment down below and subscribe if you are new. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the team. Stick around. Because shit is about to get leveled up. <laughs> I hate it when YouTubers say that, but honestly, the next few weeks, the next few months, exciting times ahead, people. I'm gonna put this shirt back on and chill on it for the rest of the day. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I need to take some photos and stuff. This is the thing, you can't always wear them. You need to, like, just chill in them for a bit and, and, and actually take photos, but anyway. Like, comment, share, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Hope you enjoyed that. And let's get it going. Next task of the day is to sort this Barn it out, mate, because it's been a hot minute, and of course, I need another fresh skin fade from the ex professional barber. You know, the barber obviously been a barber obviously. before, obviously. Dad. You've obviously, 
you know, been cutting hair for years. In another life. Yeah, no, in this life. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the before. During. And after. Well, I still need to shave and all this kind of stuff, but, you know, we're getting the hang of this, this skin fade at home malarkey. What are you eating, babe? A bagel. A bagel? With what? Orange jam. Orange jam? Yeah. Mmm, that sounds really healthy and nutritious. Yeah. Don't you just wish that you had, like, something delivered to your door where everything was ready and you could just, you know, have it ready in five minutes or so, some, something like that? Don't you just wish you had that? Because you've made me eat loads of what? <laughs> Yeah, this is what I was saying to him earlier. I was like, my stomach has been in bits because of all the crappy food that we had. Same, well, we've TV. I am. Um, <laughs> I think that's just a bit of a coincidence. It may or may not have had something to do with us demolishing a, a big box of Gillian's in within one hour of a Netflix show. Oh no, what, it's not It's not Netflix. What was that show called? Amazon Prime. <coughs> On Amazon Prime, we, we binged this show over the last couple of days. What was it called? Little Fires Everywhere. Little Fires Everywhere. It had Reese Without a Spoon in it. You know, everyone resorts to Netflix, don't they normally? But Amazon Prime, we've got some good stuff on there as well. Go, go and check it out. <coughs> yeah, Charlotte's made a list of everything that we've watched during lockdown. Bear in mind we watched stuff over FaceTime before you came over here. Um, and we've watched a fair bit, I think it's fair to say. I'll show you the list one day, when it's over maybe. This is the Love Hearts Clear Way Isolate, by the way. I don't know which one's my favourite. I pick up each one, have a swig of that one. And I'm like, mm, no, this is my favourite. Then I go back to the other one and I'm like, no. This is my favourite. You guys should go click the link in the description box and pick them all up because actually one thing I found out, they are limited edition, they're not coming back. Once they're gone, they're gone. So get your hands on some link in the description box. My code won't work because my protein are stingy. But you can use the link and it will still support me in the same way. I'm leaning towards the love hearts. I can't freaking inside though. <clears throat> so the thing is, with Netflix shows, everyone gets so passionate about what their favourite is and what they should binge and what everyone else should be watching because it's their favourite. So stick your favourite in the comment section down below. What is your favourite series or just Netflix kind of on-demand show or film or whatever that you've watched? And I'll tell you whether you're right or wrong in the comment section down below. My personal favourite is Power. Any show that is good always gets compared to Power, like, oh yeah, that was, that was a really, really good show. But was it as good as Power? And the answer is always no. So I'm always watching whatever, and I'm like, oh yeah, this is, this is fantastic. Absolutely great show, fantastically written, which I do appreciate. I appreciate how well put together things are, because obviously I put together YouTube videos and stuff, and no, it's not a freaking Netflix thing, but it, I, I appreciate when things are well put together, and that is often the case with, with things on Netflix, especially now. I feel like a few years ago it was a bit naff, but now everything is like super, super high quality and everyone from like Hollywood and everything is coming across to uh, to Netflix and just things on demand because it's the future. Things like YouTube, things like Netflix are the future. People don't like having to wait watching adverts and people don't like having to wait watching whatever. They like to watch what they want, when they want. People want it now in today's society. And I think that's why YouTube goes down. So this is bloody good. I think that's why YouTube goes down um, so well. But right, the topic of today's video, okay? The diet, we are gonna be getting on track within the next couple of days. Since, I mean, what's the date today? The date is the 25th of May, so it's been a good maybe 10 days since I've kind of just eaten what I want, really. Not 10 days, whenever I hit 169 pounds, that day I was just like, right, Okay, cool, we're done now. I can chill a little bit, you know, like I said I would. Um, but as a result of that, I haven't really trained as, as well. Um, I know I still have the home gym. People are screaming at the screen, going like, Liam, why are you not training properly? Um, I just haven't. It's been my birthday, it's been the old man's birthday. You, know, you guys know all the reasons, all of those things. I kind of just said the, the entire time of the diet that I would just take this this sort of time off. I do every year. It's usually body power right now. I'm usually uploading daily videos just kind of around this time about body power and all this kind of stuff. Um, but the thing is now, the standard that I kind of expect of myself is a lot higher. And so I'm producing daily videos still now, but 
they're not about body power. You know, I have to con consciously kind of think about what these videos are going to be about. And that is actually quite challenging, especially when you're not feeling 100%. But having said that, not feeling 100% is, is definitely um, my own fault, you know? I've not, I've not binged, I've not, you know, how people on social media go on about binge eating and all this kind of stuff. I, I've not done that. I've just been a bit, <clears throat> a bit more free with what, excuse me, <clears throat> I've been a bit more free with what I'm eating. Um, you know, I got given plenty of chocolate for my birthday. I love chocolate. Usually I would have the replacements like the protein bars and all this kind of stuff. Instead, I've just had the actual chocolate because it's kind of been there, right? Usually I would have like a gin and a diet lemonade for an alcoholic beverage, but instead I've had, you know, like a, a liqueur, those vodka shots that you've seen um, us having. Like those are higher calories than what I would usually have but it's only for a short kind of period of time. And yes, it's, it's led to me kind of feeling like this. I don't feel great, to be honest. I feel very sluggish, I feel very run down. You know, my stomach's just not coped with it very well. It kind of just got to a point. And this does happen, and I assume you guys will, will feel the same. If you do have foods that you're particularly not used to, all in one go for a few days running, your body will at one point go, no, 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 no. That's enough of that, and that's exactly what's happened here. So I haven't actually weighed myself, and very intentionally, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's be honest, I'll weigh myself over the next couple of days and kind of get a gauge of where we're at, but I can tell by looking in the mirror, you know, holding water weight, looking at, you know, I'm a bit flatter because I'm not trained as much, but all of these things will go away once I kind of get back on track, and it, it's really not that big of an issue. However, me putting on another kind of few pounds in this little phase, um, whether it's water or glycogen or whatever or both and everything really you guys know overall volume in my stomach of food as well is all going to account for my my actual weight and my lack of ability to hit a vacuum as well as I could a few days back but the thing is the options have been there I've had the chocolates there I've had the things there that I just wouldn't usually buy because I don't normally crave them because I have you know, my alternatives, I have my Lodo pizzas instead of a friggin' Domino's. I have my protein bars instead of a Kit Kat. I have stuff like that that satisfies my sweet tooth that I use as an alternative, which makes my diet not quite so bad, you know? Protein bars, protein shakes, low calorie pizzas, they all have their time and their place in order to help keep you on track. And on that note, I am very, very excited to share something over the next couple of days, which is not only gonna help me, I know that you guys can definitely get involved with this. I get messages all the time. I'm just asking how to stay on track. And my answer is pretty much always, don't overcomplicate it. Find something simple, find something easy that works for you and stick to it. It is as simple as that. And if you're still struggling, guys, then I've got something for you. Just stick around because it's exciting. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Let me know your favorite Netflix series in the comments section down below. One more thing before we go. Excite Energy, I haven't got one to hand. Excite Energy have a 20% off sale. Well, actually, it's not a sale. My code has just been boosted to 20% off, so you get a fifth off of the price of the energy drinks and free delivery if you order today. This is being filmed on Monday. This is for Monday. It's Bank Holiday Monday. It is a Bank Holiday Monday sale. It is gone after that. It will go down. My code will go down. You'll have to pay for delivery again. So if you've ever wanted to try Excite, give it a look in the description box down below. Use my code LSJ at checkout, it will save you a good few quid. And if you send over a screenshot of that on Instagram, I will add you into the MyProtein kind of giveaway. So check out that link in the description box down below. It's also linked to my Instagram, which is LSJ underscore fitness. So go ahead and check that out if you have not already. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, like, comment, share, subscribe. It really helps me out. Cost you nothing. Text two seconds. Let's smash 75 likes on this video. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, like, comment, share, subscribe. I appreciate you all. Together we will grow. And I will see you 